Megan Boots and I am a product marketing manager for Adobe Ideas and I would like to show you Adobe Ideas. Let me go out of the app first. So this is my Samsung Galaxy tablet and I select Adobe Ideas and as you can see here are two pieces that I've that I already have. This is called the organizer in Adobe Ideas. Let's say I want to select a new idea. I can go to the Creative Cloud and grab a piece. I can go to my gallery that's already on my Samsung tab, or I can go ahead and take a picture. Let's take a picture, I don't know, of Adobe Ideas. Okay, maybe I just took two because I was impatient. So there's a photo. I'd like to save the photo. So it already comes up in the UI of Adobe Ideas. So here is my the width of my pencil. As you can see up here, I have the pencil selected, and here's the width, as Kevin Lynch showed in the in the keynote this morning. And let's say I want to bring the opacity down a little too, and I want to change the color. I'm not crazy about this green. Let's see. I want to go into my spectrum here and select a blue. And I'm just going to put a frame. See, you could tell the opacity. I'm just going to put a frame around this. I am no artist. <laughs> so anyway, you get the idea. And whoops, I hit something and I went out of it. Let me go back. So I can take this whole thing. It's all in one layer. And I can bring down the Whoops. You can switch. So this is this is a layer, my photo layer, and this is what I just drew, my drawing layer. And I can I can again mess with the opacity down here in the layers and with my photo layer. Um I'm, whoops. I need a stylus probably. Anyway, you get the picture. So um, th this is all vector-based. The eraser is vector-based. This is our customer, Kyle Lambert. He is um, an artist. He's trained professionally and actually very talented. And he's created some pieces. Do you want to show sure. some work that you've done on Adobe Ideas, Kyle? So. He's more impressive than me. <laughs> These are some of the demo uh, examples that I've created with Adobe Ideas. Uh, I do quite realistic kind of painting. So this is an attempt to create realistic artwork with transparency and with a range of colors and layers on Adobe Ideas. So because of this being vector, the idea that you can pinch and this image is going to continue to stay sharp as you work all the way in there. This is the advantage of the vector artwork. So. Although I'm working on a very small display, I can scale this up and have this printed at any scale. And the, the file size doesn't necessarily have to be that large. They don't need to be large yeah. at all, which is why this kind of processor can, can cope with that as well. Um, and, and the advantages of that are quite evident with something like this. This is a sketch that I did um, out and about. and the level of detail that you can create on a sketch which normally are limited to the size of the paper that you're working on but because this is almost like an infinite canvas mm -hmm. that was the scale that I worked on initially and then I started to refine the sketch and I can work all the way in there to work on individual windows to any level that I want. I'll take this. So Kyle wanted to um if Kyle wanted to work with this professionally or commercially, he could take this piece and put it in the cloud, and then when he logs on to his computer back at work, he can open it up in Illustrator or Photoshop. He can add graphical elements to it. He can further refine it. So if and inspiration hits you on the road, you can... Exactly. Yeah, you can't do this. Uh, you, you can't have your. You can have a laptop, but you can't have this uh, control and this intimate ability, the the um, touch feeling, uh, to sit there and create the way that he creates. I mean, he's he's a trained oil painter, so the tactile nature is very natural. So. So do you use a stylus or just your? I don't use a stylus. No, I've. Uh, most of the things that I've just shown you on here I've done with my uh, finger. Okay. You can use a stylus as well. Right. That, I mean, that will... Uh, I'm, it's it's it, more natural. It's more natural, yeah. yeah. I think a stylus helps with the precision sure. if you've never used fingers for creating the artwork, but uh, you can use either, really. Well, thank you. All right.